So we're gonna go over getting the seat out and putting in a swivel seat. Um, I got this swivel seat here from Pocono Metalcraft. Um, it was rather expensive. I think it was 450. It is extremely solid. There's no play at all when you spin this thing. Um, locking mechanism locks in the open position if you'd like. It does come with some hardware. The tools I'm gonna to be using is a 17 millimeter socket, deep preferably. It'll fit inside the seat rails. Six millimeter Allen key. You don't have to have it on here. You can have a standard L wrench if that's all you got. A T50 Torx is gonna to be mandatory to remove the seatbelt bolt. I also have a metric, I think it's a one, or excuse me, a metric 10 by 1.5. Um, that's gonna be for the back of this screw that you're gonna remove for the seatbelt. They don't send a bolt, so that's what you got. Um, I got the locking style, it's kind of like an oval. So if you screw it in, it stays locked in. So those are gonna be the things you're gonna use. And then I'm gonna use a 15 millimeter wrench to tighten this particular nut. That's gonna change depending on what nut you find. It might have a different hex side over here. So those are the tools we're gonna to be using. All right, we're gonna come under our driver's side here. Pop this off. This is on a 2018 Mercedes. After that, we're gonna go back to the seat and pop off the connector. All right, we're back under the passenger seat. This wire here goes to the seatbelt. Little connector down here. We're gonna pop this guy apart. Um, I'm gonna push down on that center tab right there, that little tiny tab. You can kind of see it from this side as well. And we're gonna pull it apart. See if I can do this with one hand. Boom, pull it apart. So that little connector. And then this will come off of the seat. This will stay. And these are the cables that are gonna pass through this hole right here. All right, we're gonna come to the front of the seat here with an E14. One of those. have to use power tools but if you got them it makes it easy get these two out after that use your slider slide your seat forward so you can access these back two now when you pull off that last bolt be prepared because the seat's going to want to move all right yours might look a little different i've got an amp under my seat but you get the point there's our base, all naked, ready for the swivel. We're over here on the side of the seat. We're gonna take a little uh, plastic trim tool, pop that plastic off. We're now faced with a T50 Torx. We'll get our T50 put in there, get this bolt taken off. All right, so now we're gonna get the bracket on. You're gonna have this flange. This is your seatbelt relocator, so that's gonna go right here on the depot. Definitely put the seatbelt bolt together before you put the bracket on this base. Go ahead and lay this seat bracket down. It is heavy, so watch your fingers. After we get that laid down, I've got the bracket lock unlocked, so this piece will spin. It's not easy to spin to expose these holes here, which is where we're gonna line up our screws, and we'll get those put in. Six millimeter Allen wrench with our new screws. There's all, there's eight of these total. Um, they're all the same, so it doesn't matter. We'll get these threaded. I'm using ratchets because sometimes when you use a power tool with a Teflon nut, you can overheat the Teflon and it will basically not work as it's intended to. Now that we have these two rear ones tight, I'm going to grab the seat piece that slides the seat back and I'm going to slide the seat backwards to access the front. I'm also going to rotate the seat now into its driving position, grabbing the front slider, moving that back. And then here, I'm gonna unlock the seat. I'm gonna canter it just a little bit to the side so I can access the bottom of the seat. All 
right, so the seat bracket is in. That's the uh, end all there. That's how she looks. Being low profile, there is a bit of drag. You see this, this plastic piece drags on the bracket there. Um, if you're sitting on the seat when you recline it, it actually scrapes right here. But not a complaint, kind of just pointing that out. That's one thing noticed. This side obviously is not a problem because it's got nothing impeding it. Come forward with it, coming around. I noticed a little bit of a pop. I don't know if you saw it. I'll show you another angle of that. So here's that from a different angle. I don't know if you saw that. So this plastic drags on this corner. You can see it's bowed out right now. There you go, you can kind of see that. So super low profile and that, I guess as a result, does drag a little. Although, we get that lock engaged. Lock is engaged. Yeah, you'll hear that thing snap when we get lined up. Very crisp. Come up to the front here. Slide back. Not much play. There's a little rattle. But to be expected, it's only got one mounting point right there in the center. We got our wire put through, which will then connect that now. That's pretty much it. Overall, seems like it's real nice quality. Uh, they did not send this nut or bolt. So that's my kind of unboxing and installation of this. There was no instructions. There was no how to's at all. This was kind of all figured out. Um, if you're interested in getting one, I definitely recommend it at this point. I'll do another follow-up video after I've driven around with it for a little while, but so far it looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah.